Here's an easy way to remember all the angles. A rose. The A stands for acute, which is going to be less than 90 degrees. This angle right here, one of the ways I like to remember it is because it's small. Oh, it's so cute, it's so cute. It's a small angle. It's an acute angle that is less than 90 degrees. The R, it stands for right angle, which is exactly 90 degrees. Not 95, not 91, not 89, exactly 90 degrees. The O stands for obtuse. I like to say obtuse like obtuse because it's so big. It is more than 90 degrees, but less than 180 degrees. The S stands for straight, which is going to be this angle right here. It starts here and then goes all the way. That is 180 degrees. And the E, it stands for example. It's just an easy way for you to remember all four angles. Now, let me test your knowledge. So, if I show you an angle that looks like this, it is exactly 90 degrees, what angle would this be? You're right. It's a right angle because right angles equal exactly 90 degrees. What if I give you an angle that looks like this, 35 degrees? It's so small, it's so cute. It's a cute angle. It is less than 90 degrees. How about this one? It is more than 90 degrees, but it is less than 180 degrees. So it must be an obtuse angle. Now let's put it all together. But before we do so, if you love math and you love learning, go ahead and like and subscribe and share this to all your friends so that they can become geniuses just like you. So here we have to figure out the angle of C, B, D. The only thing we know is the angle of A, B, C, which is 25. So what should we do? So it looks like the angle A, B, D is a right angle and we know that right angles equal to 90 degrees. So we know that these two angles must add up to 90 degrees. So in order to figure that out, we subtract 25, which is the angle that we know, and we get 65. So let's see if 65 is really the degrees of angle C, B, D. How would we check that? Well, by adding 65 plus 25 should give us 90. So let's double check. 65 plus 25, five plus five is 10, six, seven, eight, nine. It gives us 90 degrees. So the angle CBD, which is this one right here, is 65 degrees. For this problem, we need to figure out the angle of DBC. What we do know is that angle ABC is 110 degrees. Now let's use the knowledge of angles that we have and break this down. We know that angle ABD is 180 degrees. Y'all see that? It's a full angle. It's a half circle. It's 180 degrees. The angle that we have is 110 degrees. So if we subtract, we're gonna figure out the angle of DBC. So let's do that. We subtract and we get 70 degrees. We plug that in and to double check, we can add. So 110 plus 70 is 180. So the angle of DBC is 70 degrees. Last but not least, we need to figure out the degree of angle DBC. So it looks like it's gonna be an acute angle because it's small, it's so cute, it's less than 90 degrees, but how many degrees is it? Well, let's break this down step by step. We know that angle ABF equals 180 degrees because it's a straight line. And if you go back to the arrows, S stands for straight and S is 180 degrees. So we know that when we add this angle plus this angle plus this angle plus this angle, it should give us 180 degrees. And all we're missing is D, B, C. So what we have to do is add all three angles and then subtract it from 180. And that 
should give us the answer. 45 plus 45 is 90. 90 plus 27, let's go ahead and do that, will give us 117. Now that number, which is the total degrees of these three angles, must be subtracted from 180 so that we can figure out D, B, C. So 180 minus 117, eight we borrow turns into a seven, zero to a 10, three, six. So 63 degrees is the angle D, B, C. Thank you guys so much for watching. Check out this video and this video, but before you do so, always remember that you are smart, you are loved, and you can do it. Until next time.